No, it's looking back, I, it's been pretty exciting to see how this place has grown. And uh, I, I thank it all for my employees. I mean, we've got a great bunch of people and, and they've helped us grow and expand and it's been very rewarding. Hi, my name is Tom Hoban. I am the plan manager and vice president of JTD Enterprises. Hi, my name is Julie Hoban and I am the CEO um, and company owner of JTD Enterprises. So we do work for a very wide range of customers. Um, everything from snowblower parts, lawnmower parts, motorcycle parts. Um, we do some large truck equipment. So we're pretty diversified. Uh, right now we have 19 Haas machines, verticals, lathes, horizontals. And then we have three handless Swiss lathes, welding equipment, and a plasma table. So we can do pretty much turnkey anything from start to finish. And we bought a robotic cell. It's got four layers of where we can load parts. And we can let it run several hours after we leave at night. We bought a new DS30 Haas which has a dual spindle. It's AWR automation within reach that we got from Gossinger. And it's got a FANUC robot on and a Siemens control. And it's very easy to program. Honestly, that was one thing that I saw at IMTS the last time we were there. I was shocked at how simple the faceplate on that robot was. We've uh, added several new pieces of hexagon equipment, measuring equipment the last five or six years. We had a customer that wanted us just to run the first 500 pieces and it was a pretty complicated part that we had to hold some tight tolerances. It would take 45 minutes to check that part. So we wound up buying a, a hexagon uh, programmable one and we made a program for it and we were able to check the part in two minutes. At IMTS, I've actually, uh, I always go into the hexagon metrology uh, booth because they, there's always something fun and exciting in there. To, and that's actually where I looked at, at that programmable CMM that I bought for that project. Uh, we started JTD in 2004, and we have, you know, we have quite a, a couple employees. They were like, well, do you have a succession plan lined up? And we'd always be like, well, not really. It was about three years ago. We've known Chad and Jamie. We knew that it was a perfect fit. Yeah, there was no doubt a perfect, perfect fit. fit. And I said, when you have the opportunity, you have to take it. Chad and Jamie are just pretty much just stepping in our shoes, and we're slowly going to sneak away. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually chose us, and that's what she told the employees, that. You should be proud because we got this guy that choose, chose you. It, it's an emotional thing. We've been connected to them for a long time. And they're not only our employees, but they're our friends. So it's a big change. I love this place and I love, I love this building and I love my employees, but I feel comfortable that they're in good hands. I think I've been attending IMPS since probably 1980s, something early 80s. We upgrade machines every couple of years, but now I go to find tooling that's going to make the jobs more efficient on the equipment I got. It's just everything you want to see in manufacturing is there and you, and you get to put, hold it in your hand and see the tooling and see what it does. I would say small shops need to attend IMTS because it's so important for the networking end of it. If you can bring as many employees as possible, I would recommend it. It's huge and it makes them feel a part of the team and it just broadens their whole horizon of your shop also and gives them so many more opportunities. I'm Julie Hoban. I'm Tom Hoban. And you'll find us at IMTS.